Welcome back to the LLC, where we come to discuss your less than lethal options for home and self-defense. I'm your host, Mr. LLC, and today we're taking a look at the Berna SD Pepper Kit. It's uh, one of the latest in the lineup of non-lethal protection from Berna Technologies, Inc. Um, we're going to open this up, take a look inside, and see what we get. So you can see right off the bat, uh, this one is... Uh, comes in bright orange that's not what's in this box but you can take a look at the case here it says uh, no background checks or permits interstate travel friendly okay and it tells you on the back how it works uh, it's co2 powered um, it launches 68 caliber round projectiles uh, pepper balls riot balls rubber balls 68 caliber that's what you can launch out of here uh this is the um as i mentioned before this is the pepper kit there's two kits the other one is the kinetic kit this one is the pepper kit we're going to take a look at today so let's go ahead and slide it out it comes in a nice uh, pad padded case logo burna dual zippers, handle on the back, it's kind of a mesh, mesh case, uh, semi-solid, as you open, you're presented here with your instruction manual, and one thing I do have to, to, to stress to everyone is always, 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 Read your instruction manual no matter how many times you've, oper you've operated a real firearm, uh, a CO2 firearm, a toy gun, whatever it is you get, read the manual first, cover to cover. Now uh, this one here tells you everything you need to know from the parts you get, how to operate your safety, loading, uh, troubleshooting, First aid, should you need it. Very comprehensive, full English, uh, full color instruction manual, which is awesome, which is something awesome. Um, I don't know if you live in a different country, you might get it in a different language, but I'm in the US, so it's English. Along with your instruction manual, you get your I guess it's a registration card here up in the top left hand corner. Okay, it gives you the inside illustration of what the, the inside diagram of your of your Berna SD. Okay. Now on the back here it goes through it gives you a thank you. Um you can pause that if you want to give it a read. It's your member card. So there's a serial number it says. Okay, located under your trigger. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Um, here you have your 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 talking or checkpoints, less lethal, no permits required, no federal license required, no background checks, CO2 powered. It has a 60 foot range firing with the uh, included or with the uh, 8 ounce cartridges, CO2 cartridges. And here you have your registration card. So up top where that blank spot is, you can write your serial number that's under your trigger. It says it's located there. Okay, and everything I already mentioned is on the left. And on the right, um, TSA approved. Uh, compressed air gun. You cannot carry it on, but you can check it, which is interesting. Okay, special instructions. I'm assuming, you know, removing your CO2 cartridge and whatnot. Disclaimer, state and municipalities may regulate possession and use. Go ahead and check your local laws and municipalities. Okay. So you get that. And what is this here? Uh, protect your investment by registering your burner. So you can register by scanning that QR code or calling or visiting the website. Three ways. Makes it really easy for you. All right. You get a nice pad to protect the... Uh, it was open, so you, you see some dog hair here. So I did, I did check it out before doing the video, so... It's nice padded. 
like you would see in a rifle case okay foam so it conforms to your contents included in the box in your case you have your Berna SD launcher magazine inserted mag 1 backup mag 2 includes two CO2 cartridges eight gram CO2 cartridges this is the pepper kit as I mentioned so you get six uh, I'm sorry you get five uh, pepper projectiles these are your pepper balls hence the red color if you remove these wash your hands use gloves all that precautions it's pepper don't touch your eyes mucous membranes anything after handling these make sure you wash your hands after handling your pepper balls you get eco kinetic projectiles five of these okay just for training I guess these are I think these are just uh, one use um, all right after that you get your kinetic projectile let's see can we focus there we go for self-defense and training these do not break on impact uh, I can't focus there we go do not break on impact Did the other say they break on impact? I did not see. No, it does not say break on impact, but they degrade over time. Okay, and yes. So these you can reuse, just wash them, put them back as long as they're not deformed or anything. You can reuse these. Um, this right here is just a little, is your Berna logo badge. It's in the case. It's not a pin or anything that comes out. I thought it was when I first got it, but it stays in the case. Okay, so let's take a look at our launcher. This is your Berna SD. All right. I'm a righty, so I'm going to grip with my right hand. All right. Uh, you do have an ambidextrous safety. It's in safe. Fire. Ambidextrous. Now, the, uh, <clears throat> the clip release is right here, your mag release. You depress this. Falls out the bottom. You load here. There is no uh, blowback or recoil slide. You can see it's empty. I'll show you a couple of features of this, uh, of your launcher. Now, first impressions, I like it. It's not heavy. It's, it, it's, it has an average weight. I couldn't tell you the exact weight of it on paper, but it, it feels decent in the hand it's comfortable to hold um you have the the honeycomb grip nice texture grip rubberized now uh, these come in several different colors you can get it in the yellow and orange black and tan black like this i chose the black option all black option okay here is your magazine Holds five. Backup magazine. Also holds five. All right. Now, I have the magazine in hand. As I have this in hand, I'm just going to talk talk on this one. Now, we're going to get... Let's get one of the kinetic rounds out here. Ooh. 
got more than one out, but okay. So I'm gonna set that there for now. You got five rounds, okay? We have our magazine. The way you load, you just push one, and that's there. Now you have this clip right here. This clip keeps your ammunition from just falling out. Okay, I'm going to load you up three, four, five. Okay, you have five. Uh, like I, uh, if you depress this. Once it goes in here, you depress this, and your ammunition is just gonna, it's gonna feed and fall out, just like that. So be careful if you have this in your pocket. Don't depress this while you have your ammo in. It's gonna just come flying out all over the place, okay? Now, <clears throat> at the base of your mag, both mags have it, it's this little, Nub right here. My dog picked the mag. Okay. That's how you would open up the um, compartment to hold your CO2 canister. So you take that. It's a, hex key, it's a hex key pretty much. You fit it in there. You turn counterclockwise. It loosens. You remove your cap. You take your CO2 cartridge, insert. You replace your cap. And then with your tool, you'll go ahead and tighten down. And don't over tighten, just tighten until it stops, pretty much. Okay, that's it. And it's in there. Now, <clears throat> you can leave your CO2 cartridge in there indefinitely because it's not pierced. Okay? Pulling your initial trigger pull will pierce the CO2 and launch your first projectile. Both at the same time. Your first pull is going to be the toughest. Each pull after that would be smoother. Okay? That's how you insert your cartridge. All right? I'm going to go ahead and remove that because I'm going to show you some other things. So like I said, it does not puncture the, the CO2 when you put it in there. So you can just go ahead and remove it. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you with the ammunition... We're going to reload the clip, the magazine, okay? And I'll show you how to, uh, how to seat it into your launcher. So like I said, you just, one at a time, one, two, three, four, Five. Okay. Make sure your launcher is on safe, which we have it on safe. Okay. Just like your traditional firearm or sidearm into the handle. There you have it. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but up top, between the sights, you have your front sight and your rear sight. This popped up. It was smooth before. Okay, so that lets you know that you are loaded. One is in the chamber ready to go. Okay? There is no CO2 in here. Because I took it out. All right? So, <clears throat> it's unsafe to 
Remove your magazine again. Drops out into your palm. Now notice it's still up because there is one that's still in the chamber. It stays in there. See that down there? The gray ball. Okay, now to remove that, you can pull your trigger on safe. It's not going to fall out. You can fire it. It's not going to fall out. Okay. To remove that, see that right here? You push it. You're empty. See how it goes back flat? So we're going to put the empty one in here. See, it's still flat because there's no ammunition. Okay. Now, also, I want to show you a couple of things that that was in that pack that I did not take out. Okay, let's set that to the side for now. And there's two little plastic caps. One black, one red. If you read your manual, it'll tell you what they're for. One black, one red, or orange, whatever color you want to call that, okay? If you, now, we're going to take a look at the magazines. You may have seen it before, but we're going to talk about it. Uh, oh, before we do that, just to keep the ammunition just accidentally from... We're going to go ahead and take them out. Okay. Down here. Again, one black, one orange, one black, one orange. This is to differ differentiate if you have a pepper projectile or pepper round in your magazine. So if you have a pepper round in all five slots or just one slot, you know it's the red one. If you're just using the kinetic rounds, you'll use just the black clip. Pretty neat. Okay. Okay, now, as before, I did mention about the serial number, which you'll find below your trigger here. I won't show you my serial number, but I'll show you where you can find it right below there see that's it right below the trigger so when you get your warranty card or your registration card you can call get that number and put it right up top there get yourself registered and uh, warrantied and whatnot but uh, yeah, that's bring, that brings us to the end of the video. I just wanted to say uh, thanks for checking it out. If you uh, have one of these, let me know what you think of it, how you have yours set up. Do you carry yours? Do you leave it at home? What you do with it? Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Give me your thoughts, questions, comments down below. Thank you for checking out your ch the channel. If it's your first time coming by, please consider uh, giving a thumbs up subscribing and uh, ring the bell for notifi notifications until next time god bless keep you and yours safe peace